Hello everybody, I'm Steve and welcome to Greenside Up. Yeah, as the title on the thumbnail says, butter on the plot and it's butter beans. But first, I'm just going to have a look at these butternut squashes just here. <laughs> so this is the end of my butternut squash bed and it's 16 foot long, 4 foot wide and 3 plants put in it um, earlier this year. Now what's happened is, I knew this would happen and I did warn that it would happen is that they've eaten me out of house and home they've come out of the bed spilled out over the path and they were nearly touching this other side so it's time to cut them back and regain some control and by doing so i've exposed three decent sized fruits there which uh, we'll eat over the winter period we'll store them um, and by exposing them, we're giving them a chance in the sunlight to ripen a bit better whilst they're still on the vine. If they don't become fully ripe, it doesn't matter. It's the same with pumpkins as well. You can just put them in a cold greenhouse or in a porch uh, where they'll still get some sunlight and they'll continue to ripen off the plant. But um, I'm leaving them on for now and they're the only three that I know are there. I've only had a little look um, through the whole lot of the foliage and I'm going to cut it back now. You can see there, there's a gap there in the wood. That's a two foot path going all the way along. So I'm going to reclaim that today and also claim this area. This is a, a three foot path and you can see it's spreading out over there. But this is the main pathway to my compost heap over there. So that's the next job. Get this cut back into its boundaries, find out what fruit I've got there and carry on pruning it. But more of that in the next part. Right, so this is the pathway to my compost heap that's now become overgrown with squash plants. And I'm just having a look first to make sure there's no squash growing. And then I'm just going to snip out this excess to reclaim the path. You can see here there is new squash forming and plenty of flower buds coming. And while it's doing that, it's not ripening your fruit. So get shot of it and reclaim reclaim your area just being careful that I don't obviously cut out any any squashes themselves again just trim those back a bit and you can see there's more squashes here and all these, I mean, there's four there, just in that little area. Just chop them out, and then the growth can be concentrated elsewhere. Well, this can all go in your compost heap. And once I've trimmed back all this pathway, I can then go through the actual bed, have a look, and see how many squashes we've got, because at the minute, I think I've only got three. I mean, that's fine. That's plenty for us to use this year because they're decent sized squashes, those, but it'd be nice if there was two or three more. But anyway, I'll finish off, trim that, and then I'll tackle the other side as well. So with that cut back and the three foot pathway just along here uh, reclaimed, I can now get to the compost heap and all that I've cut off, you can see now is, is piled up on top of the compost, compost heap. Um, incidentally, you can see the squash is actually climbing up it there and up and over the top. So eventually I will cut that down as well. But for now, let's tackle the other side and reclaim that other pathway. So again, it's the same crack. Just find where the vines are growing from and start chopping out. But just checking first that you haven't got any fruit growing. Just pull it out bit by bit until you get a start on it and then the rest becomes a lot easier So again, we've got small fruits here, but they're never going to come to much. So just cut them off and they're just detracting from your other fruits that you've already got growing. So 
looked out, I found one more squash just over here. And that's now exposed to the sun. So I've got four on there, but I haven't fully investigated the far end of the bed yet. I'm just going to let that carry on growing down there. But I couldn't see any more in that mass. And to be honest, four squashes that size from that bed is good. It could quite easily have doubled, but I think four is fine because I've got a squash plant elsewhere as well. So this is another squash plant and earlier in the season a friend gave me this, this plant and at the time he told me it was Uchikikuri. Uh, later on it looked like a Turk's turban so I called it that. And I've since found out it's a fungu. Pronounced, it's pronounced fungu apparently but spelt fungo. And I've got a few squashes on there, there's one over there, football sized and another one in here. And I think there's a second or third over there. So we're not going to be short of squash this season. So that's good. And again, from the size bed it's in, a 16 by 4, it's uh, very reasonable. Fungo, or fungu. So squash plants can be fickle things. They can just completely die off all on their own accord, or they can keep going until, right up until the first frosts. Um, you can see the coloration of some of these leaves, they're going yellow, the green's going out of them. So I suspect that they're on the way out. But I'll leave them there and let them carry on growing. There'll be lots more tertiaries and side shoots coming out of this plant. And you can see, I mean, there's loads of flowers on it, mostly male flowers now. Um, but I'll have another go at this tomorrow and take out as many of the side shoots as I possibly can and the flowers and then just let the sun deal with deal with uh, ripening up these lovely sized squashes at the end here. I mean, these are a great size, so I'm pretty happy with them, but they're still, like this here, there's still things to take out. So it was John that sent me the seeds for these plants to try, and he sent them twice, which was phenomenal. Thanks, John, again, as I mentioned on the video the other day, and I've never grown them before and I asked this advice, would, I, would you pick them now or pick them later? I suspect you can leave them on the plant to dry like you can with most beans. But I'm going to take them young, I'm going to blanch them and I'm going to freeze them. Next year I'll get my own seeds and uh, I'm going to grow a proper stand of them. Now these have grown sort of, they are a good eight foot tall and they do need support. I've had to put extra support in there because this very strong framework when I put it up has blown about but next year I'm going to grow, grow them up another support idea that I've got. Well it's not my idea, it's somebody else's and it's called a Munty frame. You can Google that, you're welcome. And that will sort them out and sort out the height to make them easier to pick as well. And next year I'll do a selection of taking some young and green as these will be in here and leaving some to dry on the plant. So I'm looking forward to these to be honest. Um, they should be nice and tender as they're fairly young. And although I'm going to take all the beans that are ready to eat now um, and probably get no more growing, it's covered in flowers, so I'm just going to leave it because it looks nice. So there we go, it's the butter beans. <laughs> That's the, um, the butter bean harvest, um, which is enough for us just as a trial. I say next year I'll, I'll have my own seeds and grow uh, a proper stand of it. I really like how fast these grow. You've got to remember these were a second lot of seeds that John sent me. He sent me a first lot. I killed them. He sent me some more. I grew them and that's what we got. We got you know eight foot plus plants and plenty of beans on them. If they've grown properly for a full season they'll be absolutely wicked in beans so it's got to be worth growing a proper full stand. So I'll try that next year. Um, give it a proper long season and I think they'll do really really well. So I'm very pleased with that so thanks again John for the seeds much appreciated and say so that's the butternut squash done and the butter beans and the butter on the plot. Look after yourselves everyone 
Take care, stay safe. I'll see you very, very soon. Tarana.